Welcome. My name is Joe, and I train Akato competitors. But where are these competitors? We're here! Great. Before I can turn you two into ultimate legends of Akato, I need to teach you the battle rules. To start, each player needs to choose one character to fight with. But make sure to pay attention, as each Akato warrior has a distinct weapon and fighting style, which may give you the upper hand in battle. After choosing a warrior, put it onto the controller, and you are ready to battle. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Before fighting, set the point tally on each controller to the number of rounds you want to battle for. So if I wanted to play three rounds, I'd set the point tally to three? Yes, that is correct. Look at you go. Ready? Fight! Split Strike! Activate your warrior's fighting abilities by pulling the trigger or button bashing your controller. Make sure to land the final blow and split strike your opponent's warrior. If split striked, reset your warrior and reduce your point tally by one. Don't be left with zero points, otherwise you lose. Good luck! In the official rules, you get to bring in some cool strategies. You'll notice that each coin has some numbers on them. Let me explain those. Each warrior's health points are at the front of the warrior's coin, in the heart shape. Be sure to pay attention to this number, as each warrior has a different level of health points. Each warrior's damage points are on the top right of the coin's base. These show how much damage will be inflicted on your opponent when you split strike them. So if my warrior's damage point is 6, then does my opponent's health decrease by 6? Yes, that is correct and the number at the bottom of the warrior's coin shows its strength when compared to others. Typically, the higher the value, the stronger the warrior. In the official rules, you play with teams of warriors. So before you start, select your team. No team's collective power amongst their characters can exceed 15. Usually, this means you have three warriors in your team. So I can't pick all the high value warriors to be on my team? Unfortunately not. After careful team selection, make sure to set your health points for your first warrior on the controller and attach the warrior to the controller and begin to battle. Ready, fight, split strike! If your Kato warrior is split striked, your character reduces its health points by the winner's damage points. Make sure to keep your score tally updated, no cheating. If your warrior reaches zero health points, they're removed from the fight and your next warrior takes their place. The ultimate split strike and victory happens when a first team defeats all three opposing warriors and leaves them all with zero health points. You guys feel that too, right? It's them! It's the, the big, the giant warriors! <gasps> Whoa! Those giants are epic! Are they different to the other Akito warriors? Yes, they are. Giants have greater health and damage points than regular warriors and have a layer of double strike armor to protect them. This means that opposing warriors need to first hit the giant's double strike armor off their body before they can split strike the giant. Only one split strike does the giant's health points decrease. That is so cool! I'm only going to use giants on my team. Unlike other warriors, giants have a considerably higher value score. For example, Shatterclaw's value score is 11. This means that if you use three giants in your team, you would far exceed your combined rating of 15. So, since the value rating of giants is so high, does that mean that if I choose a giant, I won't be able to have three warriors on my team? Yes, that's right. Since giants' value scores are 9 or more, and regular warriors' value ratings start at 4, this means that if you use a giant, you will only be able to use one other regular warrior. Otherwise, your combined score will exceed 15. So, if I can't just use giants on my team, does that mean giants can battle regular warriors too? Absolutely! Giants can fight other giants as well as regular warriors. But when I battle with giants, do I play by the basic or official rules? This is up to you! 100% your choice! Jet! The moment you and Ward hit those split strikes at the same time, everything changed! So now an Ice Storm Viking? I am an Earth Warrior! Fire Warrior! Shadows for Shreddy! And Chucks is a lightning warrior? Light, briny, water! Unleash the Power Storm! Whoa, what just happened? The Power Storm introduced all new weapons, fighting styles, and all the warriors now have elemental powers. There are six elemental powers. Fire, water, lightning, earth, light, 
and Shadow. The powers affect their weapons and their abilities. I've never seen this number before. Where did it come from? The Power Storm created elemental attack abilities for each Akedo Warrior. It means that your Akedo Warrior's damage points can increase, or it can reduce your opponent's damage points. However, this only happens when your elemental attack ability matches your opponent's elemental type. Wait, can I get an example? Let's look at the Warrior Viper Wrath. His elemental attack ability is shaded purple for the Shadow Element type, which has a plus one inside. This means that Viper Wrath's damage points will increase by one if he battles against a Shadow Warrior. What is this inside the Warrior? It is the character's elemental boost ability. What does that mean? If your character gets Split Strike, they will expose their elemental boost. An elemental boost can increase or mirror opponent's printed health or damage points. However, you can only get this boost if the inner element of the split striked warrior matches the elemental type of your next warrior. Oh, can I get an example? Sure. Let's say your Phoenix Fire Mizuchi has been split striked, so his elemental boost ability is showing. His elemental boost ability increases Light Warrior's damage points by one. However, this boost will only apply if your next warrior to battle is a light warrior. So if the inner element of my character is light and my next character to battle is a light elemental type, do I get the boost? Yes, that is correct. Why are these icons different to the others? These funny icons, such as the bird found in Captain Plunderfoot, don't impact health or damage points. So make sure to pay close attention to your starting lineup, as some warriors don't have elemental boost abilities. 